Hey guys, welcome to Get Inspired Spiritually. In life, every gain has a corresponding loss and every loss has a corresponding gain. Ultimately, every loss and gain will be nullified and become pointless. The above quote may create a lot of confusion about gains and losses. But if we closely observe, we will find that it's quite true. It states that every gain has a corresponding loss and every loss has a corresponding gain. Say, a professional after much awaiting gets his promotion. But he didn't get the promotion easily. He had to put in a lot of hard work. He has been patient for quite a long time and finally he got it. People may say sometimes that we have put in a lot of hard work but we didn't get the desired results. Okay. You should understand that God basically considers three criterions for giving results to any individual. They are good deeds and bad deeds. I mean what you call as karma of the current and the past incarnation. Our purpose, devotion, goodness and effort. And the third one and the last one is needs of the world and the individual needs. Your intention is everything. If you have a pure, noble and selfless intention, the God and the whole universe supports you wholeheartedly. People who say that they didn't get the desired results had to take a close look at these criterions. Just because we didn't get the results, that doesn't mean all of our effort is a waste. In fact, we learn a lot from our failures than from our successes. King James in Bible quotes, Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. King James in Galatians 6 7. The meaning of the above words gives us that as you sow, so shall you reap. This law is applicable for the professional before or even after his promotion. Promotion assigns him a lot of responsibility which require efforts in the form of time, management and other related things. In return, the company gives him a good pay and facility. If you take a close look at his position before the promotion, he was receiving less pay, but he had ample time to relax and invest in other meaningful activities like spending time with family kids. So every gain has a corresponding loss in support of this, Buddha quotes, Life is an echo. What you send out comes back to you. What you sow, you reap. What you give, you get. What you see in others exists in you. In the book of Seko is the Way, written by Mr. Ryan Holiday, tells us that every obstacle carries within itself an opportunity to improve we should view it from the right perspective and tap that opportunity. When you lose something, you don't think of it as a loss. Accept it as the gift that gets you on the path you are meant to travel on. Also, Gautama Buddha says that change yourself as per the demands of the situation. Change is inevitable. Don't be worried. If you lose something, that's good. You will gain something. That's even better for you and the universe. In support of this, there is a Vedic quote, Kalaya Tasmai Namaha. In Sanskrit, Kala means time. Everything and everyone in this universe is a slave of time. It is the time that has made us everything to happen in the universe. Everything will fade away as the time passes on. All our achievements, pride, fears, wealth, so on will be senseless and will be, will be faded away with the passage of time. In Vishnu Sahasranama, the supreme hymn of Almighty Vishnu refers Vishnu as Kala. Also, every wound, loss or gain will be nullified, faded away in the universe. The only thing that we can do with respect to time is to surrender and be patient, persistent with our efforts to achieve the desired results. Never ever feel sad that you didn't get the expected results despite putting all your efforts. 
it will fetch you the corresponding returns some day some time and it will be nullified universe never saw anybody anything we live here for a very short span of time instead of wasting time by feeling sad by carrying regrets worrying about the future and feeling proud of our achievements wealth status so on let's enjoy every moment every task always stay in the present moment no one has any guarantee of the next year next month next week and even tomorrow i recently very read a quote by nick wichich if you can't find a miracle in life you can be a miracle to someone else it's really inspiring mr nick followed the same philosophy which made him what he is now most of times the losses incurred by us are all due to the divine wish to get us something else from life buddha quotes nothing is permanent don't stress yourself too much no matter how bad the situation is it will change remember happiness is the highest level of success no matter what you do if you aren't happy it's not worthy of putting effort in it interesting thing is happiness is never found outside of us it is found within us in buddhism there's a meditation technique called the vipassana which emphasizes on inner happiness it basically teaches us to be in the now moment by doing this you will be able to understand yourself that's what you call the self realization now is the only thing that's beyond past and more powerful than future now is full of divinity and eternal bliss this is the only paradise available instantly to each one of us our minds are designed to search for happiness outside of us but in reality it can be found within us also you should understand that happiness is not a destination it's a journey happiness is the step by step process of achievement of goals if you want to be happy make sure you have goals to achieve them and achievement of goals will actually provide you a lot of satisfaction to your life and that you call as like the bliss bliss from the work thomas carlyle emphasizes the importance of living in the moment by through this quote our main business here is not to see what lies dimly at a distance but to do what lies clearly at hand intelligence is always being active in the present moment whether it's emotional or intellectual ability it always requires presence of mind no matter what happens never let anything or anyone to affect your peace of mind and bliss hope this inspires you thank you so much